So what do we have going on today? Well, I've got an update on the hemp mats. So this is my experiment I was running on the hemp mats I got from True Leaf Market. These ones, I used a nutrient solution on this radish. And these ones, I use just water. And they look pretty pretty comparable, but it's clear that, once again, the, the nutrients are winning out. But I don't think it's totally necessary on the hemp. The hemp seems to have a little bit of nutritional value in itself. Because on BioStraight and on Cocoa Core, they wouldn't have looked this good. And actually, they both should look a lot better, but I screwed up and I let them dry out a little bit. It was no fault of the hemp. I actually gave them, I actually stacked these up and I never missed them or anything in between for like three and a half days when I unstacked them. And then I left them unstacked for another day before I did anything to them. And you could never do that with like BioStraight. It would have dried up way quicker than this. So... That's sort of a tribute to how good the hemp is. I love how well it holds water, but you still have to remember to tend to it. You can't just leave it like I did. But they're still coming into it. Here, you can see these ones have nutrients. This is a basic salad mix. And this one is just water. So same amount of seed, planted the same day, it's clear once again that the, the nutrient tray looks better, but that this tray doesn't look bad. I mean, it's you probably don't need to use the nutrients once again on the hemp. So just an update on that. Also wanted to show you something else. I had mentioned that doing a test on these active grow 24 watt, four foot LED lights. So I'm using a pair of them. And what's cool about these is that you can get, because they're, they're separate, so you can get a nice wide spread of light with really low power LEDs. So the two of them add up to 48 watts, and they're four foot long. And the idea is that you won't have a single light like that just over the middle. And I have seen in the past from using lights like that where the middle of your tray does great because it's right under the light and the edges kind of suffer a little bit. So these are supposed to eliminate that. And I just thought it was pretty cool that uh, a company is focusing on microgreens like that. So I'm going to show you a little bit more about these lights as I go along. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of include them in this. Let's go on to our hydroponics. Once again, I'm going to shut this light off so you can see. You can shut it off from the app too, but not while I'm recording. So the lettuce is doing fantastic. This one here, for whatever reason, I've had to top it off a few times, and actually it drank up the water again. So it's almost dry again, and I've topped it off twice. So that one is super thirsty. The rest of them aren't using up as much water, but everything's growing great. Um, this one, the past two times I topped it off, I did just water. I figured there was probably still enough nutrients in kind of residue in there. And the next time I'm going to top it up after this, top it off after this video again, but I'm going to use nutrients. So the rainbow shard is doing fantastic. Here's another rainbow shard, doing awesome. Both the arugulas are doing great. Show you the roots a little bit more. They're starting to get kind of nasty looking in the in the uh, actual cups because, like I said, you want to keep them dark. But for the experiment, I wanted to be able to show the roots. So those are all doing great, and this one too. And they're all been growing underneath this this LED that I got from Gove that shipped out two of those to pay the uh, Patreon winners today. Here's a cucumber. 
It's doing good. Water level starting to drop. And here's the soil cucumber. That's also doing great. Some arugula in the soil. Shard in the soil. It's hard to show everything. I've got everything really packed in here. The lettuce is doing really well in the soil. But it's important to note that the lettuce, everything hydroponically is doing better than it's doing in the soil. But nothing in the soil is doing bad at all. Quick update on the Bluetooth thermometer and humidifier reader, whatever you want to call that. Um, you can see that my average over the past week or so has been about 64 and a half degrees. And my humidity has been right around 55%. So tracking this thing over the past week has been pretty cool. It's neat to see what's going on in here. If this is something you want to check out, there'll be a link to it in the description. So feel free to go check that out. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Just a really short update, show you what's going on. Hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to get in on the monthly giveaways that I'm running, uh, check out the description. You'll see my link for my Patreon account in there. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will keep making videos.